Well, I think Hannah, you know, very uh, brilliantly outlined the, the crisis that not just ordinary people face, but also the capitalist class uh, in this country as well. And I think that the capitalist class, with this crisis, are going to declare war on young people and on students. And I think already this summer, when you saw 600,000 young people leave the, the, the schools uh, and, 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 and really struggle to find a job or, or a place in education, 40,000 missed out on a place of, in universities because of the government's uh, cutting uh, university uh, places. Those that got to university, we did precious fairs in Stoke and in Leicester, where hundreds of students are now having to stay in hotels, paying £100 a week because their university uh, cannot, can, cannot find uh, accommodation uh, space uh, for them. Also as well we have this term, 65 million worth of cuts, and that's part of a 2 billion worth of cuts in education as a whole. But 65 million worth of cuts <coughs> in higher education, and that means hundreds of jobs lost in the London universities, 700 jobs lost at London Met, 300 down the road uh, at King's uh, College. You know, ed higher education uh, is being decimated uh, by uh, New Labour. And now, of course, Mandelson and, and the CBI want tuition fees to go up, uh, up to £5,000 uh, uh, a year. And of course, our organisation, Socialist Students, you know, has always fought for free education, has always challenged the argument that free education uh, cannot uh, be afforded. But it's not just a question of education now as well, but also a question uh, of jobs. The money that's been spent this year on the war in Afghanistan, Stop the War is, it, it did a survey which came out yesterday, but the money that's been spent, the billions of pounds spent on the war in Afghanistan this year, could have funded 200,000 graduate jobs uh, for people leaving university this year. And you have the obscene situation where 57% of employers are now not taking on graduates uh, from uh, universities. What a waste of talent, what a waste of a generation. And what Hannah said about a political alternative, I would agree with. You have the Labour Party with its conference when, where hardly anybody turned up, hardly any uh, ordinary uh, people, who failed a generation of people over the last uh, 11 or 12 years. You have the Tories who promise young people a horrific future of, of, of cuts and of tax uh, on their living standards. And you have the Liberal Democrats who now say that they, won't, they will not get rid of tuition fees, they're not even in favour of a graduate tax, that they go on uh, along with the agenda uh, of all the other capitalist parties. And I think that's why it's absolutely essential that we fight for a socialist alternative. And socialist students is, is a socialist alternative in the universities and colleges. But not just there, we want to link up with uh, young workers, with young trade unionists, with young people uh, who are unemployed. And that's why we've called this demonstration on the 28th of November. We're going to march on Parliament and we're going to tell the politicians that we want decent jobs and we want free education and we want a future. But as Hannah was saying, under capitalism, with this crisis, there isn't a future uh, for young people. And that's why I think we need to build uh, a socialist alternative. We need to, we need to organise, we need to discuss uh, ideas in meetings like this, but we need to organise uh, and fight back uh, for a socialist uh, alternative uh, as well. Thanks very much.